Welcome to this radio channel and um, you know from time to time I always think it's a good idea to kind of refresh um, some of the websites that could be useful for any shortwave listener and in this case one of the websites or a few of the websites that I like that I will show you here um, about you know learning what you're listening to so when you tune around the bands one of the things that you might want to know is oh what am I listening to right now also you might simply want to have schedules for a specific station or what's on the air right now uh, on the shortwave bands that you might be able to tune in. So four websites that I will share in the description below the video so you'll have the links to all four of them. First of all it's Primetime Shortwave. If you listen primarily and only to English language broadcasts, Primetime Shortwave has schedules by time, by country, um, to specific target areas and so on. You can check that out. They're updated regularly. And for example, this is the time sort. Uh, was updated last on January 27th. And of course, you see here all the broadcasts uh, by UTC time that you can listen to with their frequencies. If you want to have a bigger list, a list, and you're a fan of lists, I'm a fan of lists. I, I like listings for some reason. Um, EIBISpace.de is well, probably the biggest and most interesting list of all. It is every broadcast in every languages on shortwave and it is amazing. It even adds a few utility broadcasts in here which is kind of nice. So you have two things you can view by time and this is a big list because it has every single broadcast in every single languages around the world. So you have a lot and a lot of stuff in there. Or you can also, if you are searching, one of the things that I do very often is use the frequency list. And if I want to search for something, say for example, uh, I want to know right now what's on 15140 and we're, uh, an example here, we're 1955 UTC. Well, I would press Control F on my laptop or I believe it's Command F on a Mac, if you're using a Mac, it opens a little search box and I do, I type, you know, the frequency I'm listening to, 15140, and here you go. And I said that uh, at 1955, I was listening to something on 15140, and of course, knowing the language and everything, well, pretty much tells me, oh, it uh, must be Radio Havana Cuba in Creole, for example. So that's another way that I enjoy searching within this list. Now, if you are more into, well, I'd like to have something that, you know, that's a little search box and is kind of more organized. Two other websites, short-wave.info is a great one. So you can have all sorts of information about, you know, find the frequencies for a specific uh, broadcast, for a, for a specific station in whatever a specific language, or you can find whatever's on a frequency right now. So if I type 15140 that I was on talking about a few seconds ago and type click now, well, it gives me on the map the two broadcasts that are on right now, uh, Oman and Cuba 15140, uh, which is very nice. And sometimes it has also the heading. It's telling you from in what direction the broadcast is directed to and so on and so there's lots of things that you can listen to and watch in here in the different languages uh, if you go down at the bottom also you'll have the lists of these stations that are using that frequency right now and, and at other times also and finally there's also in the same spirit of what I just did uh, a state the uh, shortwaveschedule.com website that you can check out. So for example, if I would check out 15140 in here and say, oh, on the air now, because the difference is what's on 15140, if you press go, it's, you know, whatever's on throughout the day. But if I press go on under on the air now, it's just going to give me the ones that are actually right now on the air. And it's going to give me what stations are available. So, um, Basically, if I'm looking here, does it, okay, it found, I don't know what I did, but I didn't search correctly, probably. So anyways, you can go on the air. Oh, okay. No, I, I just understood what I did. The go on the air now, I'm sorry, is just tells you what's on the air now. I thought it was in reference to this. So 
uh, if I type 15140 in here and do the search and here we go now we've got what's on the air on 15140 so sorry guys just got a, a little mixed up here on the two um, buttons but you know this is a kind of cool button on the air now because realizing that it's actually telling you every broadcast on the air on the shortwave band in a specific time or you know pretty much across medium wave shortwave uh, it's, it's kind of cool now these make really big lists but you got to know also what you can hear or not hear but they contain a lot of information by the way a lot of information about you know transmitter sites and uh information about um you know where that is broadcasting to and uh basically they're all really helpful in understanding and finding out what you're listening to too many people actually aren't using any of these to find out and i often find oh what's on the air there at that time on that frequency and you're like well you have that information on shortwave you need to on the internet you need to just have the correct lists and um basically my favorite is eibispace.de that has amazing amazing lists if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you for watching our videos